welcome back to my channel as you can see today i'm gonna be doing makeup for mature women and i'm jumping straight into it so as you can see i'm filling in her brows here not doing much because she has gorgeous brows naturally i'm just darkening that um um with my air woman pencil in dark brown and then i blended that out with my spoolie and after doing this i'm going to clean it up with some foundation from out of my sasha cosmetics camouflage um foundation palette i don't remember the shade that i use here but it's like two shades lighter than her natural skin tone then now i'm going on top with a shade that's like i'd say like probably a shade lighter than her i wanted to keep it uh, more on the natural side because you know after all we're doing makeup for more mature women and usually you want to keep the makeup a little bit more neutral with more mature skin sometimes it can become dry and so i'm just going in with some far sally rose gold elixir to add some moisture to her skin because she does have dry skin and this will just help her to you know to restore that glow that dewiness and then after i applied that i went on top of it with my la girl primer Now moving on to foundation and taking Coco Beige from Sasha Cosmetics Camouflage Foundation Palette. And I just, I, I have a preference for cream foundations um, in general because it just looks more like skin. And I just love the way it applies. I just love the look, the finish and everything. So I'm using this traditional foundation brush for application now i'm going in with perfect bronze for her forehead because sometimes the forehead tends to be a little bit darker than the rest of the face so i just wanted everything to kind of blend seamlessly and then i take a flat top kabuki brush to make sure that everything is evenly blended so yeah if you notice i didn't go right up under her eye that's because i'm taking perfect honey now to highlight so instead of taking foundation right up under her eye and all over and then going on top of that with our next product that would just be too much product so i just use foundation and you know just used that to you know apply her face her actual face shade then highlight her with foundation again and then I also contoured her with foundation so it's like I'm not completely overlapping products and building up too much product on her face because we don't want we don't want too much product build up uh, basically and if you notice she does have creases under her eyes so you want to be careful with the amount of product you deposit beneath there because you don't want to create more creasing than is already there now I'm going in with Per perfect copper and this is what we're going to take i log with mocha this is what we're going to take uh, um to contour her today and i'm just going on the hollows of her cheeks and i'm just going to take this up on the temples there a tad yes and i'm also going to be taking perfect copper just perfect copper to contour the nose i also take a bit of this down um on the sides of the chin you'll see that later on but um yeah and then after doing this after depositing the product i take the flat top kabuki brush to make sure that everything is evenly blended so yeah that's the number one thing guys blend 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 like blending is just key now we're going into setting and i'm taking mac medium tan pressed powder this is a pro long wear pressed powder and this is what we're going to put under her eyes but before i apply this i actually made sure that there was no creasing by going back under there with the foundation brush making every make sure making sure everything was seamless and i applied this to everywhere that i highlighted okay and then i'm going in with mac dark deepest and this is what i'm going to use to set her contour
Okay, and then I went in with a dark deep. I didn't get to show you guys on camera, but I went in with Max Dark Deep Press Pro Longwear Powder, and this is what I took for to set the rest of her face. Okay, also went ahead and set her nose contour. No, as I said, I'm not really. I don't want to really bake her, cause I don't want to make her look too, you know, mattified. I want that dewy look. So I actually just applied a bit of Sasha watercolor powder just to catch any eyeshadow fallouts. And I'm moving on to her eyes. You can take any matte brown of your, of her choice. And this is what I'm applying as our transition color today. I'm just gonna build up the same shade. Okay, it's a regular matte brown shadow, and I made sure to just build up that shadow towards the end of her crease and eyelids. You know, so um, her eyes got some depth and you know definition. Now I took a, a regular matte nude shadow, and I'm tapping this onto the rest of the lid, ever so slightly. You know, I'm just doing everything very gentle, and I'm blending the two shades together. Together, making sure everything is blending seamlessly okay now I just went in with a black gel liner and I just created a regular liner on top of the um, upper lash line and then I went on the lower water line and I applied some of that liner as well now I'm going in with lashes and this is some human hair lashes from Sil and it's in the number 747 and these are very lightweight they're 100% human hair lashes and they're super affordable I just they look so natural they're not heavy and yeah so now I'm dusting away the powder I used to catch any fallouts earlier on and we're done with the eyes you see it's very simple guys very simple moving on to the lips I'm using this mauve liner from clean color and then I went on the outer parts of the lips with a brown liner and after doing this I'm just gonna go in and blend everything together so there are no harsh lines then I'm going in with Victoria's Secrets Guava Splash Lip Gloss, which, ah, uh, these lip glosses, they are life. They taste good, they smell good, they look good. They're just everything. And you guys know I'm obsessed with gloss. So I just thought that this was a perfect lippy to go with this look because we're going for that um, youthful glam, you know. I just love it. It's, it's just beautiful. So... The last step that I'm taking is applying some glow to, you know, give us that dewy look. A little more of that dewy look. And I took MAC Gold Deposit um, Mineralized Skin Finish. And then I went on and I ended this look by just applying some setting spray. And that's pretty much it for this look, guys. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you guys out. I tried my best to make it, you know as detailed as possible i'll link the products that i i'll be sure to list the products i used down below in the description box um so go ahead and check that out don't forget to turn on your post notification bells and stay tuned for my next upload bye